y'all what's up so I am back again I know it's been one hot segundo since I have been back but I had some really fun and exciting things done like I got my wisdom tooth pulled out Woo! okay so y'all today I have a new review for you and it is the new Brooks Levitate 2 dun dun dun, dun. here she is cutest honestly can we just take a second to appreciate the aesthetics of this shoe though? Like, why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? So, um, I will let you guys do the product knowledge behind it first. So, the shoe is a 8mm drop, and the main things that they have is this, um, suede back right here that is supposed to hold your Achilles tendon on it. This guy weighs in at 9.9 .9 ounces for women and 11.2 ounces for men. So it's not the lightest, but also not the heaviest. And for the the amount of cushioning you're getting for this, it's it's a lot. It's actually comparable to the Brooks Glycerin. The only difference is the Brooks Glycerin uses their DNA Loft material, while this guy uses their DNA Amp material. And you may be thinking, but Himeno, what does that mean to me? Well, let me tell you what that means to you. So, the DNA uh, loft is pretty much regular um, EVA foam that most brands tend to go towards. So, their DNA AMP material is actually a uh, TPU, which is thermoplastic polyurethane. And that is what it's called so that means that it's pretty much plastic so what that plastic allows you to do is to have a more responsive ride so it gives you more energy return aka so like I said this is the Brooks Levitate 2 and while it is a very aesthetically pleasing bad girl I was gonna call it a bad boy but this is the girl's shoe so um even though this is super aesthetically pleasing, super cute, you stand into it, it feels very firm, which means it's going to be a very responsive ride, which means that in theory it's supposed to be super bouncy. Um, it has the knit upper, which is a little bit of a mimic to the Brooke, to the uh, Adidas Ultra Boost, in my opinion, or Nike's Fly Knit shoes. I guess Brooks decided to come out with their own version of that. I will say the collared upper uh, I still had to do the runner's loop in it which fun fact you can still do it even though it's that collared upper um, I can't say that I love the two more than I love the one the first levitate I like the material of it and I like that it was still the regular mesh and I wish they would have done that with this one I wasn't a fan of the collar. I felt like it was a little bit too loose. And not only that, but I always say that I'm a woman size six and a half. And for the most part across the board, I'm a woman size six and a half. Like some will be a little bit bigger, some will be a little bit more snug fitting, but overall it's I wouldn't necessarily bump up or down unless it was like a six and then I would bump up to a seven. With this guy, the six and a half felt so loosey goosey that I felt like I had to go down to a six, but then when I started running, the six was too close to the end of my toe, but felt great everywhere else. So that's why I think that I like the Levitate one a little bit more because of the upper. I love the bottom of it. If you want a really firm, bouncy, responsive ride, this guy is the guy to do it for you. But I would say right now you can still find the Levitate one and you'll get it on sale so you'll get in my opinion a better shoe and a little bit more bang for your buck um that's the one thing that i hope that with a three they fix this upper and i don't know let me know if you've tried this shoe out did you feel that did you feel like you were in between sizes because i definitely felt like the six and a half from the moment i put it on i was like once I get going on this guy and I start to break it in, it's going to get all loosey-goosey more than what it already is. So that's why I normally don't bump down to a 6 because that's usually way too short. I don't want to get black toenails. It's summertime, summertime vibes. I wear sandals if I'm or heels or whatnot if I'm not wearing running shoes. So I just, I'm not about it. So as much as I wanted to love this shoe, I like I love the previous model way more than I love this one. Um, 
But if y'all are just looking for a very aesthetically pleasing shoe, I won't say this is a bad shoe, this is a great shoe, it's just the upper didn't fit me right. But if you were a fan of, say, like, the Ultra Boost by Adidas and you love that loosey-goosey roaming around feel in your shoe, then you'll like this shoe. And it'll be a great option and it's going to be way more durable. Um, but I can't say that I loved it. This is a very short review. I think I'm done. I think I'm done telling you guys everything I want to tell you. I like it, I don't love it. Would I buy it again if when this one breaks down? Not at all. Do I recommend the Levitate? Yes. The first one. All right, you guys. This is it. She was it. I'm so tan. I li Where I live, it's so hot, y'all, that like. Living my best life. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later, alligator. Bye!